IGCSE Computer Science, Syllabus Statement 1.3.3H, describe the principles of operation of microphones and describe how they are applied to real life scenarios. So, um, a microphone is a device which you can input sound into another device. Um, well, I'm using one right now, and I'm pretty sure most people have used them as well. So, like when um, chatting with their friends on, like, uh, on their phones and uh, going on Skype and whatever, microphones are used for that. So, microphone kind of looks like this, um, but it can also be like holes on a computer. Um, yeah. So microphones can be used for doing a voiceover in a presentation, speech recognition, voice recognition, and enabling disabled people to communicate with their computers. Uh, but the two major uses that we're going to look at um, are speech recognition and voice recognition. Now, voice recognition is a little bit simpler, so we'll start with that. But before that, we should look at the principles of operation of microphones. So when a microphone detects sounds, a diaphragm vibrates, producing an electrical signal. This signal is transmitted to a sound card and is converted into digital data and is then stored in the computer. Simple. Now, voice recognition. What happens is the user's voice is detected and then converted into a digital wave pattern. Now, as we'll see um, soon, when we're looking at uh, sensors, we'll see that um, we know that computers can't actually read like physical data. It's going to have to be converted in some way. So we'll cover all that in sensors. So um, once you watch that video, it'll make more sense. But for now, let's just stick with this stuff. So software will then compare this wave pattern with stored wave patterns to see if they match. If they match, the person has correctly been identified. Yay. Um, only certain words can be used in this, usually, as most systems are limited to only recognize keywords or phrases. This technology is good for security. Now, um, what we mean by it's good for security is, well, actually, it's pretty obvious. Um, but, like, say you were on to protect a uh, room which had secret files, so only you were allowed in there. What you could do is set up voice recognition software which will allow access if it senses your voice. If it's not your voice, then they won't allow access. It's pretty much how it works. Speech recognition is a little bit different, though. In speech recognition, software tries to recognize the words spoken by the user as opposed, as, as opposed to the user's voice. The spoken words or phrases can be displayed, input into a word processor, or used in other applications. So this is how it works. When a sound is inputted, the sound card in the device will convert the sound into digital data. The software will take the digital data and break it up into phonemes. Now, what a phoneme is, is it's, um, how do I explain this? It's, it's kind of like, like the sounds in words, like the individual elements of the sounds in words. So like, um, hello would be ha, e, o, o, u. So those would be the phonemes, the individual sounds in... Anyway, um, the phonemes will be compared with words in the built-in dictionary, if there is one. The word spoken will then be suggested by the software and the application being run, and hopefully it's reliable and will output whatever has been spoken. The concept of speech recognition is far more complex than that example. Now, we looked at... Um, keyboards in the other video and I talked about how um, keyboards like maybe the uh, I've got a, got a jar of nuts here anyway keyboards like like they're, they're quite slow at inputting data but um, it may be the easiest now this is why speech recognition can be quite hard to use like you could say something and the computer could misinterpret it totally um, if you've ever spoken to Siri or Cortana, like, you may notice that some words that you say may not be recognized or, like, misinterpreted. So, like, um, well, we'll look at an example now. Um, the reason for this is software must take into account different dialects and accents. Well, 
um, when trying to recognize what has been spoken. Now, this is pretty important because people around the world have different accents. It's like um, the Indian accent, the Russian accent, the, um, I don't know, the, the um, Asian accent. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, um, like, it's pretty complex for the software having to take into account all of this. So let's look at an example. So the phrases recognize speech and wreck a nice beach sound similar, um, kind of. But if the software breaks these up into phonemes, they will be very similar. So wreck, 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 nice beach, something, and wreck, uh, wreck, blah, blah. Um, so speech recognition can be used in cars. It's commands such as turn on GPS and windows down will turn on the GPS and roll the windows down. So hopefully you have an understanding of how microphones work um, and two of its major uses. Um, and hopefully this will be on the exam because I wouldn't want to have wasted my time doing this. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and as always, see you guys when I see you guys and uh, yep.